Hello there. So I am slowly continuing to work on my garage renovation. Um, my AC is in, some other things are in, uh, but I mostly need the workbench done and I'm still having trouble finding somebody. But while I wait for that, I'm doing other things slowly. And um, because the AC got put in, I was now able to move my kiln, which is right here. And I'm trying to figure out where to put my kiln controller. I've always kind of dreamed of having that on a wall. I used to just have it on a shelf kind of, and I had to turn it sideways and it was just a weird setup. Uh, I'd love to hang that on the wall if I could. Uh, so I have a Gen Ken kiln, I'm gonna pick this up. Okay, so here's my controller box. You know, it's pretty large. Um, there are some holes in the back that you could mount this. I have the Gen Ken, so you could mount it to the um, frame of this Gen Ken thing. I don't wanna do that though, because uh, it really sticks out, it makes a, it's kind of in your way um and so and i don't even know if this is the way it came i bought this thing used and so maybe somebody before me you know kind of rigged this up so i thought it would be really awesome to mount this to the wall however i've got uh the conduit coming out of here that runs to the kiln itself so i can't mount it uh to the back uh, on the side this side you've got the power cord on this other side uh the third side uh, I've got my uh, wires to the thermocouple. So uh, that leaves the front and clearly that's not gonna work. So what I was thinking is because the wire to the thermocouple is relatively small, I could try to mount it to the wall here. And if I open the kiln, it clears. So that's not a problem. But then the question became, well, how on earth do I mount it to the wall? I don't really wanna go have to drill holes through the casing here. So what are my options? Let me show you what I came up with. So from Amazon, I found these shelf brackets. It was a set of four. They're extremely heavy duty, thick shelf brackets that are seven and a quarter inches here. And my box itself is seven inches. So there's a little bit of a gap. I may have to um, uh, monkey with that and put a little something in there in order to hold it. But I'm hoping that there's enough of a lip here and I've got four of these. So my intention was to put one or probably two down below for this box to sit on, one at the back to kind of frame it from the back, and one on the top to kind of hold it in from the top, and then basically I'm kind of surrounding that box on the wall. So uh, there was a four pack of these on Amazon, they're actually shelf brackets meant to put a shelf in here, but I think it's going to work for what I'm going to try to do here. So uh, let me get out the tools and get started and see if this works like I hope. Okay, there you have it. So I didn't end up using two on the bottom. I just used one on the top, one on the back, and one on the bottom. So I guess I've got a spare left over. Uh, but there it is. It's hanging up there nicely. Now, I already knew where my studs were because I had put this hardy uh, board behind there. Uh, so I was able to drill all three brackets right into the studs. And um, sorry for the choppy video here. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna work out quite well. So now I can walk right up, program my kiln, um, and... Uh, my lid stays clear of it, so everything is good. I promise I'm gonna continue to show you other little projects as I've got them. Uh, thanks for your patience. This has tested my patience for sure, but we're getting there. Okay, now just a little bit of a selfish plug because I do get a small commission off of anything that you find on my Amazon store. I included a link to these brackets in my Amazon store, and uh, you can find that in the video notes. Uh, I have a collection of all the kind of favorite tools that I've used. Uh, if it's available on Amazon, I've added it to my store, so you can check it out there if you're interested in these brackets. I did not end up adding anything to them in terms of spacing to hold, because I thought that they held that box uh, quite well. Thanks. While you're here, go ahead and subscribe and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, your controllers may not be like this or wired the same, but this is what worked for me. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.